please give a massive, huge round of applause, stamp your feet, give us some wounds for our first speaker, Ian Cole, ladies and gentlemen. So I ran out the front door and I started sprinting up the street and I thought, please, not today. And there it was, the bus to work sailing past three minutes early. So I started the long walk to work on this cold, wet, dark winter's morning about seven years ago. And I was miserable. And I was thinking about all the things that had gone wrong in my life, how my life hadn't worked out the way I wanted it to. All my friends had moved away after we'd finished uni. I wasn't in a relationship, I didn't have any money, and I hated my job. And all of these things were buzzing around in my head, and I was about halfway to work this morning, and I had an epiphany, or a breakdown, I don't know which. <laughs> but it was this, that nobody is responsible for my happiness except for me. And I have complete, unfettered control over how happy I'm going to be. So I thought about this idea and it kind of rattled around in my head for the next couple of years. And I thought, if I have the ability to control how happy I am, what is it that I should be doing to maximise my chance of being well and happy in life? Is there a logic to what makes us happy? Is there a science to happiness? Well, it turns out there is the science of positive psychology, and it's the most fascinating science that I've ever come across. And the most interesting thing about positive psychology is that it proves that we are really bad at predicting what it is that will make us happy. There's a really famous study, you might have heard of it, that looks at paraplegics and lottery winners and measures their sense of well-being six months after these life-changing events. And incredibly, there's virtually no difference in the levels of happiness between paraplegics and lottery winners. And let's just think about that for a second. If you won the lottery tomorrow, you're statistically no more likely to be happier in six months' time than if you were paralysed. That's crazy. So if what we intuitively think should make us happy doesn't, then what is it that we should be doing in the pursuit of happiness? Well, if we take all of the research and studies that have been completed over the last 50 years, from humanistic psychology all the way through to positive psychology and contemporary neuroscience, and we look at all of that and condense it down, there are three causes of happiness, three buckets. And in the first bucket is fun and pleasure for pleasure's sake. It's going out with friends, having a drink, drugs, sex, all the good stuff. <laughs> In the second bucket is accomplishment. It's investing now for some future reward, finishing that qualification, learning new knowledge and skills, learning how to speak in front of a group of people. And the third bucket is meaning and purpose, finding something that authentically chimes with our values. It might be religion, it might be spirituality, maybe it's raising a family or doing a job that we're really passionate about. It's something bigger than we are, and often has an altruistic component. But the important thing is that we take from each of these three buckets and not just focus on one. If we focus on fun and pleasure, we're likely to get sucked into some addictive behaviour or substance of abuse. If we focus just on personal growth and accomplishment, and we get up and we go to the gym, we go to work and we do another three hours at the gym, our lives will be dull if we have no fun. And if we focus just on purpose, and all we do is serve other people, will burn out and there'll be nothing left to give. We have to take from each of these three buckets to maximise our chances of well-being and happiness. There's a famous clause that we've all heard in the Declaration of Independence and it guarantees three inalienable rights to every human being. The right to life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. And I think it's the pursuit of happiness and not happiness itself that's guaranteed because the only person that's responsible for your happiness is you, and you have complete, unfettered control over how happy you're going to be. Thank you.